Hey guys, uh, so we have WordPress installed and now it's time to um, get to building our plugin uh, or widget or both. Um, so like I said, this this Codex WordPress slash widgets API gives you um, the basic, I guess, instructions on creating a widget. So the class, we're going to create a class and name it and it's going to extend WP widget. All right, and then that's our main class. You can see that this this sample file has a construct, which is run when uh, the object is initialized. We have a widget class, which um, is that that's where we output our content uh, into our position or, or wherever we're displaying the widget. Uh, form. This takes care of the admin form, so where we add parameters and things like that. And then update will actually um, run our parameters um, and run whatever the plugin does um, when you save it. And then down here to kind of uh, initialize it, we want to use um, add action. Okay, and then we're just going to pass in um, widgets init and then create function, and we're going to call this register widget function, and that'll. Um, basically initialize it all right and this here uh, this is for PHP 5.2 plus and this is for 5.3 all right um, I think we're going to use this version just in case people don't have um, PHP 5.3 and then you have an example okay um, but it's basically stuff we're going to do so we don't have to look through that really um, so here's our website all right so where we want to create this um, we want to go to I'm going to use my explorer bar right here and let's see where am I gonna go to my HT docs and new tech alright now we want to this is our WordPress root directory I'm gonna go to uh, WP content and then plugins alright and you can see that we have an a kismet plugin already and it has the classes uh, and then the index file uh, so we'll basically be doing the same kind of thing so I'm going to create a new folder here and this is going to be our plugin folder All right, um, I'm going to call it contact dash widget okay so we'll go in there and we're going to create uh, four files really um, let's see the first file is going to be the main file which will be called the same name as the plugin folder I'm not sure if that's a convention or not but that's just what I've always done uh, and then we could put our class in here but I just want this to kind of um, just be the base file and then we'll create our own class file all right, so we'll call this class dot contact widget dot php. Okay, so the convention I'm using for the classes is actually the same as this akismet. You can see we have the class. They have a couple different ones. We're just going to have this main one. All right, and next um, we want our PHP file, and that's going to be called mailer.php and that's going to take care of actually sending the email to the to the webmaster all right and then we want a javascript file so i'm going to create a new folder call it js and then create a new file and call that script.js okay so that's it that's the entire structure of our plugin and you can see that it just has a lot less files and folders than uh, the standalone projects that we've been building. Now if we go to our main contact widget file, uh, we need to include um, a comments block in order for WordPress to, to see the, that this is a plugin. And if we go to our, this um, writing a plugin document, uh, if we scroll down, where is it? Okay, so right here is an example, all right? So it's basically a file header, 
and it can have a bunch of different information here the plugin name which is um, you need to have that and then the pub the, the URI the description version author author URI and license now I think the only one that's mandatory is the plugin name I'm pretty sure um, I don't think it says it here though but what I'm gonna do is just copy this and put this right in here and just change some things around so the name of the plugin um, I'm gonna give it a name of Ajax contact widget okay we don't need a URL or URI description let's change that and let's say simple Ajax powered contact form widget okay version will keep 1.0 okay author I'll put my name feel free to put your own okay author URI I'm just gonna put in Edgewonix Um, license um, GPL2 is fine all right so that's our comment block or our file header okay so the next thing we want to do is include any scripts or style sheets that you may have we obviously don't have a style sheet here so uh, we do want to include our script JavaScript file Okay, so I just like to put the comments at the top. Uh, you don't need to do this. Uh, it's just good code etiquette, I guess. All right, so we'll say include JavaScript. So this is going to be function add scripts. Alright, and actually what am I doing? That's not gonna take any parameters. Okay, so we want to use this WP um, ENQ ENQU E U E. <laughs> Alright, so uh, NQ WordPress NQ underscore script. I cannot type today. All right, so we need to pass in some things here. All right, now the first one is going to just be, um, I guess, a name of the script, and we can make this be anything. So I'm just going to say contact scripts. All right, and then the next parameter, um, we're going to point to the script file. Now ours is in our JavaScript folder uh, inside of our plugin folder but we need to actually uh, specify the the whole path to our script all right so we can use this built-in um, function I guess or variable actually it's a function uh, plugins underscore URL and that's going to give us the path to our plugins folder all right uh, and then after that we want to concatenate and we're going to say slash contact widget okay so to the plugins directory and then slash contact widget so that would get, make us that would put us right in this directory but we want to go to the JavaScript directory so we're going to say JS uh, JS slash script dot JS alright and then um, the next parameter we want to this is going to be um, dependent on jQuery okay so we're just going to say whoop, array jQuery alright so that'll make sure that um, we load jQuery the next one will be uh, I think it's a version number so 1.0 we'll say 1.0.0 .0. all right and then the last one is false 
uh, I can't remember exactly what this is, what the parameter is, um, but feel free to look up this, this API, this function. All right, so that's our add scripts function. Um, now we want to call that, all right, because what we did is just define it. We need to call it now. And we can do that with add underscore action. All right, so add action, and then we're just going to put in our WP uh, NQ slash underscore script. Um, let's see. Scripts. I think it's supposed to be scripts. Yeah. And then the name of our function that we created, which is add scripts. All right. So that'll load our JavaScript files. All right. So uh, the next thing we want to do, let me just, these two kind of go together. So I'm just going to put them together. Uh, so now what we want to do is include the widget class. Okay, include class. Uh, we're going to say include. And then the name of our class file, which is class dot contact widget dot php all right and like I said you can put your whole class into your main file uh, but I just like to separate it I think it's a little neater all right so next we want to uh, register the widget Alright, so what we're going to do here is say function register contact widget. Okay, no parameters. And we're going to call the register widget function. And then you just want to put the name inside here in this format. Okay, and this should actually have quotes. All right, so that'll create the register function. Now we have to just do our add action again. And this add action, you can find all the different options. Um, where is it? I think it's in on this plugin page. Or maybe not. Hmm. I'm not sure what the exact URL is. Um, widget functions. Here's the register widget that we just used. But there's a there's a document somewhere that gives you all the options for the API for add action. Um, but anyway, you know. When you use add action, you put in that that name or uh, value um, that's listed somewhere in WordPress.org. You can find the different options, and then just the name of the function here, or you can actually paste in the actual code. All right, so you'll see add action a lot when you're dealing with WordPress plugins. Um, so the action we want here is widget underscore init, which obviously is an initializer. And then, of course, we just want to pop in our plug our function name. All right, Let me put these together. These two go together. So that's basically it. Uh, it's a nice, clean index file. Um, we're just including our JavaScripts. Then we're including the class. Then we're registering our widget. All right. So save that. And in the next video, we will uh, move on to create our class.